Hi y'all folks, this is Max from uh, Galaxy, no, not that one, NexusSHacks.com. Um, so I've got another ROM review, since I've already installed this ROM and just been playing with it, I might as well do a quick overview of the codename ROM. Um, this one is pretty cool, uh, available for both Nexus and Nex Nexus S and Nexus S 4G. Um, I'll show you that, it's 4.0.4, .4. it's based off the IM... IMM676D, which is the latest um, and the best Android 4.0.4. Uh, probably the best ROM, one of the best ROMs. Um, this one, and I think Foxhound is the best ROM for 4.0.4. Um, I'm actually running, I put a matrix kernel on it so I can uh, overclock it. Um, pretty good stuff here. Let me show you some of the settings. Um, I did a ROM review of this before, so interface, yeah, I'm not going to go over that, uh, performance, processor speed, and uh, I got it at Lulz Active 1.46 gigahertz, um, pretty cool stuff. I wish this was available on more other phones, but the Nexus S still has one of the best kernels um, and also one of the best ROMs because everything's kind of integrated. I still don't see this being done on Galaxy Nexus. I mean, there is, but the number of governors available um, is kind of sucks. And also, I just don't like the fact that on Galaxy Nexus, um, it's not really overclockable that much just because of the code. You should be able to overclock it beyond like 1.4 gigahertz. That chip is, you know, rated for 1.4 gigahertz, and you should be able to clock it to 1.6 gigahertz. No one has figured it out, but anyways, um, this is the codename ROM. Uh, pretty, pretty general stuff here. Um, another great ROM for your Nexus X S or Nexus S 4G. Um, does it come with face unlock? I don't think so. Um, not a big of a deal. Uh, it, face unlock runs really slow on the Nexus S series, so um, that's probably why. And uh, I think that's about it. I just want to show you that it's, you know, it's very smooth. Uh, one of the best ROMs. If you're still on 4.0.3, you might want to consider trying one of these 4.0.4 um, ROMs. And uh, this is way better than, you know, trying to run one of those. Um, one of those, what? Ah, sorry, I got too high on Android today. And I can't remember anything. Um, there we go. Very, very smooth. Oh my god, this is like a world of difference from uh, when we started, first start seeing the I ICS ROMs. Anyway, um, that was just a quick overview of the, uh, what ROM was this again? <laughs> Codename ROM. Anyway, we're on Android Marathon. This is one of the better ROMs, I think. Um, I also use this. I usually load up three or four ROMs per week, and I try all of them out. And the ones you see on my videos are... The ones um, that I think are pretty good or that, you know, personally been doing well for me. Anyway, go try it out for your Nexus S, Nexus S 4G. Um, there should be, I think, two files and uh, simply flash the ROM file and the... What is there, two files? Oh, God, I can't remember anything. Anyway, I'll list it down there. Yes, there's two files, um, codename, ROM file, and the Google Apps. Just flash the ROM file after a wipe and flash the G Apps and you're all good to go. And if you have a uh, Nexus S, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at nexusshacks.com where we update you once or twice a week um, whenever I have time. And we don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, subscribe button if you have thanks. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And folks, I'm going to get really high. Today is the official Android Marathon Day. And thanks for you guys supporting my channel. And uh, we're picking out random winners for uh, our high on Android t-shirts. Try to pick the highest person. Anyway, see you, see you guys later. Um, I gotta go, go, more, go do more flashing. Flashaholic. See y'all later.